Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to tackle another exciting problem from LeetCode, Longest Palindromic Substring. This problem is all about finding the longest palindromic substring within a given string. It's a great way to practice string manipulation and dynamic programming. So, let's get started. First, let's understand the problem statement. You're given a string S, and you need to return the longest palindromic substring within S. For example, if the input string is BABAD, the longest palindromic substring is BAB or ABA. If the input string is CBBD, the longest palindromic substring is BB. Our goal is to find an efficient way to identify the longest palindromic substring. Let's start with a naive approach, which you all will take. One way to solve this problem is to check every possible substring and see if it is a palindrome. This would involve, first generating all possible substrings of the given string, checking each substring to see if it is a palindrome, and finally keeping track of the longest palindromic substring found. While this approach works, it's not efficient. It has a big time complexity which is impractical for large strings due to the nested loops and substring checks. Let's briefly outline this approach, loop through each starting point of the substring. Loop through each ending point of the substring. Check if the substring is a palindrome. Keep track of the longest palindromic substring. We need a better approach. Let's consider optimizing it using dynamic programming or expanding around the center. These methods reduce the time complexity significantly. Method 1, Dynamic Programming, use a 2D array to store whether substrings are palindromes. And then use this information to build up to the longest palindromic substring. Or we can use method 2, expand around center where every palindrome can be expanded from its center. Expand from each center to find the longest palindrome. We'll use the expand around center method in our solution as it is simpler to implement and understand with a good time complexity. Let's jump into the code and see how we can implement this expand around center approach. Let's break down the code. We check if the input string is null or has a length of less than one. If so, we return an empty string. We initialize start and end to keep track of the longest palindromic substring found. We loop through each character in the string, treating each character and each pair of characters as potential centers. For each center, we expand outwards as long as the characters on both sides are equal. We calculate the length of the palindrome for both single character centers and double character centers. We keep track of the longest palindrome found by comparing the lengths of the current palindromes. We update the start and end pointers based on the new longest palindrome. Finally, we return the longest palindromic substring using the start and end pointers. But why is this approach better? Efficiency, much more efficient than the naive approach. Simplicity, it is easier to implement and understand compared to the dynamic programming approach. And that's how you solve the longest palindromic substring problem using the expand around center approach. This method is not only efficient but also elegant in its simplicity. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified about future videos. Also, leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for other problems you'd like us to solve. Thanks for watching, and happy coding!